Theresa May was the great survivor in the Home Office, but the treatment of the Windrush generation is rocking not only her Prime Ministership, it's also put the current Home Secretary on the ropes. And in the Commons today, Amber Rudd faced calls to resign. Her intent was to harden this cruel and misdirected policy, pledging to do so ruthlessly. Isn't it time she took responsibility and resigned? Is he talking about me, the Home Secretary appeared to be saying, as the Prime Minister tried to defend the government's approach to immigration. He talks about action that the government has taken in relation to those who are here illegally. The Windrush generation are here legally. Action against those who are here illegally has been taken by successive governments. Many of those coming ashore were wives and children of men already working here. The Windrush generation came here as children from former British colonies in the Caribbean, but many have been caught in a trap of trying to prove their Britishness to a Home Office seemingly intent on trying to catch them out. Home Secretary, will you resign over Windrush? There was no let up for the Home Secretary as she admitted to a committee of MPs she only recently realised the extent of the problem, despite MPs raising the issue as far back as 2011. Um, can I ask you, when did you become aware of the problem? I became aware over the past few months, I would say, um, it, that there was a problem of individuals that I was seeing. I bitterly, deeply regret that I didn't see it as more than individual cases that had gone wrong that needed addressing. I didn't see it as a systemic issue until very recently. We've got through 7,000. We are some Windrush citizens affected by the scandal for their verdict. The anger is just rising in me as, I, as I'm watching and, and, and listening to her, um, avoiding answers, um, telling us that they don't have, they simply don't have that information. Is the cabinet at loggerheads over immigration, Home Secretary? Amber Rudd chose not to answer, but the Windrush scandal has exposed not only a shocking disregard within the Home Office of the effect of these policies, but also deep divisions within the government on their overall approach to immigration. The Home Secretary denied that the government, particularly Theresa May's drive to get immigration down into the tens of thousands, had fueled the saga, but she did admit that she'd had private conversations with the Prime Minister over immigration. Amber Rudd might have hoped that her promise to fast-track citizenship for, Windrush, for the Windrush generation might have drawn a line under this saga, but today has shown she's by no means off the hook yet.